and I guess I want to turn um, and I want to shout <laughs> and I want to say, Prince, <laughs> there's one more gift for your birthday. <laughs> oh, wa 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 ha! And then I saunter over. Nayak throws um, olives in front of Jen's feet <laughs> as he walks over. <laughs> Uh, Prince Aster, you may recognize me as uh, sword dancer Jen Slindell. I I was at your 45th birthday party. You! Yes. It is you who marred my flesh. You who permanently scarred my beautiful princely body. Yes, we've... Why do you sully my coronation now, you foul pricker of a man. Oh. Guy, we want you to uh, we want you to bless our egg. <laughs> we would like you <laughs> to bless our egg, but mostly the reason I am here is that- More eggs? More eggs. You no, give me not, more no, eggs? No, it's not more eggs. Okay, it's a cool, sorry, it's a cool golden you. egg. Listen, there's been a lot of back and forth, uh, you know, about who did what in terms of getting stabbed? You stabbed me in front of my besties. I did. And stabbed, ran into a blade. Now he's into it and he's almost like too expectant. He's like, yes, yes, show me your moves. <laughs> yes, don't get your expectations up too high though, right? Because all we wanted last time I stabbed you. So this time I just don't stab you and it's all good, right? I've been waiting 46 years for such a show. Aha, uh -huh, make my birthday shine. I'm using one hand to cover my genitals and my ass at the same time. I'm just spinning back and forth using the sword, <laughs> moving so fast that everything is a blur. And then I do the come hither motion with my sword at the prince. And that is a, oh my God, a 31 performance check. Yes, baby. <laughs> you see that the prince, like a mom at a Magic Mike show, <laughs> gets up and is like, I can join in. <laughs> like a magic mic at a magic mic show. I nod. <laughs> you can join in to an extent. <laughs> you would have me on stage with you? Indeed. Let me just put my pants back on. Oh, miraculous. <laughs> miraculous, Mike. You see that the prince trips uh, and starts falling into you, but you catch him. <laughs> And like pull him into uh, a graceful swoop and dip and then put him back on his feet and spin him. My God. And the crowd goes nuts. I have a secret I must tell you, gents. Before at my birthday party, I only wanted to dance with you. That was why I ran onto the floor and received that prick. Jens Lindell, former Prince Pricker, future Prince Licker. Oh, oh. I'm going to sleep my way to the top. <laughs> That's right. I'm going for the prince. I did not see that twist. Wow. Wait, the prince The prince is like a 50-year-old man, right? Yeah, he's 46, I believe. Okay. <laughs> In the clear. Jens, Jens is going for it. All right, you know what? Shoot your shot, man. Uh, we'll... I support it. I support this. Listen, I know, uh, you know, birthday party, a lot of people around and everything, but if you ever wanted to just hang out one-on-one, -on -one, because I'm very into this whole money and influence thing that you've got going on. Oh, you like money, yes? Yes. <laughs> the way you talk is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much money. Perhaps you would like to come and see my monies. I would I would love to someday just come and see your money. <laughs> Do you want to go on a date where we just look at all your money? <laughs> Onyx is watching this and realizes now why Jens pities her relationship with Katie. <laughs> Go and roll uh, persuasion with advantage. Okay. 27. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, let's get out of here, huh? Cool, yeah, let's go look at all your money. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Very well. Um, you two ride off on miniature ponies. <laughs> Um, towards one of his mini vaults. While they're riding the miniature ponies, can I dismiss the spell? <laughs> from <underneath? laughs> And pretend like I did it on accident, but kind of just out of curiosity. Jens is fully, thinking about going towards a vault of money is fully rock hard and breaks his boner as... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Ah, nothing, Jens, are I'm you fine. okay? Everything's fine. <laughs> We're all good here. Everything's good to go. You... You seem injured. Are you all right? I'll summon some guards. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm fine, <laughs> Prince. 
Uh, he reaches out his hand to pick you up. Wow. Uh, Jen's um, <laughs> blushes, and um, I think as he grabs his hand, he looks at it. I've never seen a hand so smooth from so little work. You, <laughs> you truly must be so, so rich. I, I use over 100 tinctures and oils and lotions every day. Each of them cost $1,000 individually. That's so wasteful. Uh, and then I'd like to dip him. And I, what Jens is imagining is like this like beautiful moment of people coming together. I, I dip him and go to kiss him while I imagine people are just booing around me. <laughs> what do you say we get out of here and go look at my money? I would love nothing more. <laughs> awesome. Uh, he kisses you back, and you spend the evening rolling around in his money pit. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nyak, what do you and Onyx do uh, at the party after Jin's dips? Uh, first, I say it looks like that <laughs> prince will be pricked again. <laughs> I'm done. You all meet up uh, at Blavin's hotel room that he's been camping out in the next day. Absolutely hungover. Uh, Jins, I imagine you're up early with a glow on your face cooking breakfast for the gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wake up early. What's up, everybody? I'm going to be a king. <laughs> oh, okay. And that means something to you? Oh, my head. <laughs> yeah, why, why wouldn't it? You're just getting to boss people around? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yeah, no, she's curious. I'm so happy for you, brother. It's everything you've ever looked for in a lover. Wealth. <laughs> this is huge. This is enormous. Yes, money money and power. <laughs> Amazing. It's incredible. Are you, are you not understanding something? I'm I, so confused. I'm understanding perfectly well. Okay. I think this okay. is incredible. I want to give you a hug, brother. I just think Onyx thinks I'm a tough hang. What? <laughs> Onyx? Oh, I'm sorry. I <laughs> wandered away. <laughs> You see a golden robot swan flies in through the window uh, with a basket of pastries and gold for gins. Wow. <laughs> it says XOXO Aster. Last night was fun. This is so embarrassing. I'm so rich now. <laughs> um, do, do you guys want any of this stuff? Brother, do you want to save the do you want to save the note? Do you want to write back to the king? Why would I What? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm confused. <laughs> well, because he wrote you a letter, brother. So, so it's he likes like me. <laughs> you see that the note is actually magic, and there's a dot 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 that appears on it, and then up to anything today? Question mark. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> brother. <laughs> <Would I respond? laughs> brother, he's corresponding. <laughs> he's go right, and when I decide to come back Please. to the city, I will be. You know, like we'll hook up again. I don't know. <laughs> maybe so. Maybe say that, brother. I'll get to stay in the castle. He's waiting for I a response. If you want to be the king, you may need to be a little more uh, straightforward and available to this person. Oh my God! Do you think there would be that much responsibility? <laughs> <laughs> heavy, heavy is the head. I guess I'll send a message back with this golden uh, swan, and I just want to say, Prince Aster, um, little busy for the next couple days, <laughs> um, but I'll let you know. Kind of what up in the next, uh, you know, I think I'll be back in like probably like a week or two. See you later. Uh, and before that swan flies away, I tie a tiny little page of elven porn to its foot. <laughs> Very tasteful. <laughs> um, you get another note back really quick that says, lol, totes, totes, understand. <laughs> Keith, wow. are you anywhere in line for like the gnomish throne at all? Oh, no, of course not. No, I, I am a simple... Got it. Uh, not interested. Cool. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's go. I think we can all agree it's Keith's fault for having feelings. Because right now, I'm not saying the prince it's is Keith's texting fault. me. I'm just saying, you know, and maybe... It, it feels insane. <laughs> all right. Do you have a, a studio or, or any place that you... <laughs> yeah, we'll go to our, our first class hotel room, our suite. Oh, did the prince book us something? <laughs> yeah. I I text the prince real quick. <laughs> do you, do you, it's like just all lowercase. Hey, what's up? Not back yet. Um, do you have any contacts in the gnome lands? Just kind of looking for a, a hotel to crash. 
thinking of you. Ask for one with a pool, one with a one, pool. One. Yeah, right. Awesome hotel to crash. Okay, okay. Dope hotel, right. swag hotel with, to crash. Okay, lo- looking for a swag hotel to crash, one with a pool, heart emoji. Indoor, indoor and TV. pool. TV, indoor TV. pool. TV. <laughs> there's, there's a TV. Oh, what multiple it? TVs because we might multiple want to watch TVs. different things. One TV is fine. <laughs> Two TVs. Okay. Two TVs. What if we two, want to watch I, two different episodes of all right, Friends? I write two TVs. <laughs> That's true. We are on different seasons. The prince gets you the top floor penthouse. Wow. At the Ritz Snarlton. <laughs> the Ritz Snarlton. They're famous for having two TVs in every suite. <laughs> You see that the bellhop is like, right this way, sirs and madams, to the two TV suite. Thank you. We're on different seasons of Friends. (laughs) The prince also said extra towels. He told us to tell you to send up extra towels. (laughs) And I'm just... I'm just a lowly high elf that is recently hooked up with a prince that might be the king in the future. Nice. I love when he's humble. However, <laughs> I'm pretty humble, okay? <laughs> Onyx, if you want to work all this stuff out by just texting the prince in my name, it would be helpful because I'm having a hard time keeping up with all of this. You know what? You're right. It's a bit harsh, but it would have worked in my favor, so I'm going to allow it. <laughs> That's a problematic way to view the world. <laughs> what a What a terrible... POV. My God. I just ignore texts from the prince as I'm saying these things. <laughs> how could you just how could you just use somebody like this? Do you know if the god goo has told you anything about like just kind of like a nice hotel around here or anything like that? <laughs> um, oh yeah. Nicer than the Ritz Snarlton? Oh, the Ritz Snarlton was in the Gnomelands. Should we you know we trashed we, that no, room? It was nice. We did. We just need a new room and we need a yeah. third TV. <laughs> okay. If we can have three TVs and a, and a suite. I'm going to text the prince. Um, yeah. Could you? I just want to um, pop off a text and I say, hey, babe, sorry I haven't answered your walls <laughs> of text. Um, just want to let you know I'm busy. I don't know if you saw that the moons were all coming together, but I'm going to handle that. LOL. Um, could use a little cash, though. Um <laughs> If you could just pop it in my bank account, I link my uh, Trini Vale Venmo, my Trinmo. <laughs> Great. I need a little bit of cash for another suite and then a little and bit more. And something to play around with. And something to <laughs> play around with. I need uh, like around two grand of gold for spell components. Remind him like how expensive the gnome lands are. Let's all, let's not forget that the gnome lands <laughs> are extremely expensive and mm. seeing the prince's paramour out in just like a regular hotel or something could be really damaging to the royal family. Uh, T-T-Y-L. Uh, winky, <laughs> winky face. Uh, and uh, brother, a selfie. Send a selfie as and well. And I, I uh, send a selfie. <laughs> you do see that the last text from the prince was, what do you think our color is? Question mark, question mark. And then you text him this request and <laughs> Uh, you see the dot, dot, dot appears, and then he just says, for you, the world, babe, winky face. <laughs> wow. You know, it's like I had this really healthy thing with Keith that was like maybe blossoming, but now I want what you have maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's honestly perfect. <clears throat> he asks nothing of me. I give him nothing, and I just take, I take, I take. <laughs> Cool. So you uh, get all of your stuff out of the Ritz Snarlton and you move to your new hotel at the Holiday Infinite. Whoa. Okay. Okay. As long as they have a penthouse, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jens, are, are you mad that he didn't put us up in this nicer hotel to begin with? I'm kind of. I'm kind of furious, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? We'll argue about it when I get home. Prince Aster, who I'm currently hooking up with and things are getting pretty serious with, is currently texting me right now. Wow. And I think he's going to be pretty upset. <laughs> the tabloids were true. That's true. Prince Aster did say, please save this for me, but I have fallen on hard times and I just need the money. And then um, does 26 hit you? Yes. All right. Finally, they taste Jin's sweet flesh. So this is what the prince is all excited about. (laughs) Ew, you're weird. 
<laughs> I've just decided now that you're weird. Look, I'll have the prince uh, see if there's like a guest castle or like a summer castle or something. I'll say. Oh, if you have the have the prince just like set up our tab at Applebee's, we can get at we Apple. can get apps for everyone. Okay, everyone you know gets what? their own apps. We don't even have to We're share. We're triplets. So We're gonna, gonna do a vote. <laughs> I encourage you all. I encourage you all to vote for Summer Castle, but we will do Applebee's if I am outvoted. We'll do Applebee's. I vote Summer Castle. He said it. Applebee's. I vote Applebee's. God damn it. Uh, all three gods vote Applebee's. What? <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, yeah, Blavin's got a booth that's like accustomed to his rear. Okay, we're at least going to rent out the Apple. Can the gods at least rent out the Applebee's for us? Unfortunately. <laughs> what? <laughs> We have no power anymore. We are mortal, same as you. <laughs> I I text the prince to see if we can at least just get our own like corner. You text the prince, uh, and he does manage to get you. He can't get the whole Applebee's on short notice. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Well, I mean, okay. If it's a trivia night, that's fine. If we just need an area, <laughs> I would just want a booth. Just like we just need a booth while a trivia night is happening, and they don't play any music, <laughs> we and need there's a loud room. trivia questions that we don't know the answer to being broadcast. We need a room, and trivia night is canceled. <laughs> <laughs> the prince does manage to get trivia night canceled, uh, and he gets you a mid-size room. Uh, and you and all of your friends and family gather at Applebee's for a celebratory <laughs> dinner. Jin's sitting next to you, our Prince Aster and Rebecca. Oh, um, while hello. Why don't we see if the prince can get us set up in a castle? And uh, we'll try to, you know, rush along a wedding, try to get that going as soon as possible before we <laughs> sign any kind of prenuptial agreement or anything. Oh, this That's is really brother. good. We're going to scam the prince, aren't we? <laughs> Do you need me to cast distort value on you? <laughs> <laughs> Jen's uh, uh, looks at Onyx with kind eyes and nods. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think we have a lot of people left to con. <laughs> Jin's dance admirably, and later on, the prince admitted that he was super impressed. Swayed by his kind words and also immense wealth, Jin's fell head over heels for the prince, <laughs> and the two became a couple. Mostly the second thing. Yeah, I was going <laughs> you to can say, fall I don't ahead. remember it being head over heels. Everyone, you like... can fall head over heels for money, okay? <laughs> more hand over fist. You three are all chilling at your private castle when you hear Prince Aster knocking loudly on the door. Over the intercom, you hear him shout, Jens, Onyx, Nyak, come quickly. I'm afraid I have most dreadful news. Oh, I don't move man. and I look at everyone else to see if we are moving or ignoring. <laughs> I'm not interested. This is super dramatic. Why would we? Even delivery, I get it brought to my room. I would rush if he said I have happy news. That it sounds seems great. You change the keys on the front door. <laughs> I just here's the thing, and let me and I, I say this quietly just to Nyak and Onyx. I love all of the parts about being in a relationship that are all like the good things. But did you? There's some bad things too. And like, like having to be there for someone. Yes, I would, and I would just prefer not to do that part of it. Does that make sense? It mm. makes perfect sense to me who who has experienced much of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't ready for all this, and uh, that's why I'm not in a relationship. Right. I, I think... Hello, I let myself in. I found the key <laughs> oh, oh. under the mat. Uh, Damn it, Nyak. We were all can't... just getting up. <laughs> why can't you remember to bring your key with you if you only wore pants with pockets? I lock my door. <laughs> 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 Nyak skitters away to the roof. Uh, <laughs> Jens is on a chase lounge and just goes, oh, my dear, I was about to go um, open the door for you. Um, no, but you, I understand you you're very busy. The key. Is that a, a, a bowl of, what is that on your lap, that big bowl of something? This is a bowl of wine. <laughs> 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 a regular cup just it just doesn't cut it I cast invisibility on myself come out grab my straw from the bowl of wine and then bring just my straw back into my room <laughs> well uh, it's a good thing I brought my own straw because I certainly need a drink as I mentioned before on the intercom I have terrible news Jins, Onyx if you're somewhere and Nyak my parents are cutting me off Nyak hops in through the window. Whoa. Oh, this is 
Um, Onyx emerges, but no one sees her. <laughs> this is terrible. Why, why would they do that? Well, I asked them the same thing during my daily tantrum, and it turns out that unless I get engaged by the end of the week, they said they'd put a hold on all my credit cards, including the unlimited adamantium card I gave you, Jennifer. Oh, Ooh, that's kind of a no-go for me. <laughs> they haven't even thought... Does anyone else think this is kind of rude that they haven't mentioned this to me at all? Like, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm totally ready to settle down either. I know this is a lot, but I think that this could really help solve our situation for now. I mean, sure, I've got a couple other boyfriends on the side who would be super devastated if we got proposed. But you know what? I think that this is our best shot at, at keeping this situation going. Okay, hold on. Who... Uh, now... What? Normally, I don't care about this sort of thing, but who- you have other boyfriends? Well, sure, just, you know, a, a couple of people I see every once in a while when you're busy. You're, you're busy quite a lot. It's like finding out that the cow has other nipples that the milk is going out of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just how, how much money do you spend on them, Aster? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, you know what, babe? I'm so sorry. I thought you might react like this. They're only on mithril cards. You're on an adamantium, so you're Thank still you. number one, babe. You're all still right. number one. That's fine. <laughs> Look. But here's um, the thing. You know what? I think that maybe this could be good for us. Maybe we should take the next step. Who knows? Maybe this proposal is what we need for our relationship. And no matter what, <laughs> it just turns me into the king, essentially. Co-kings. <laughs> co we would be co-kings, it's true. Should I put the key back under the mat, or should, can I take this, or what? Uh, you can just give it to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aster gives you the key and then like swoops in for like a very cold peck. <laughs> <laughs> I, after he cold pecks me, I, I go, huh, I bet your other boyfriends don't show that kind of passion. <laughs> They are not sold on you, Jens. Got uh, it. They, they're supporting Aster. Uh, they're supporting Aster's pursuit. Um, but, you know, they're specifically looking for someone to inherit the crown one day. So right. uh, they need to size you up a little more. Okay. Um, I'll cast invisibility on myself and go eavesdrop on what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't get too close. Whatever they hit about Jens, I can try to back. On. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you're going over to where uh, Albin and Bleeker are under the parasol. But I am wearing a very heavy perfume. <laughs> <laughs> does it smell like roses, or does it smell like something else entirely? <laughs> <laughs> Lavender, and I eyed in a rose bush. <laughs> you see, uh, isn't, Alvin, it, isn't it wonderful yeah. to be here, uh, uh, Aster, amongst all of the lavender-scented rose bushes? So romantic. The buzzing is loud. Is it? Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> it's just—it's like trying to talk over a drill. Oh I, yes. You get used to the buzzing after a while. Right, It's yes. why everyone in my family speaks so loudly because of our bumblebee butlers. Right. It is a, a lot to get used to, but I'm sure that you will manage. I will manage indeed. Um, <laughs> so listen, Aster, um, I, I think this has been going exceptionally well. We've really connected on multiple levels. Um, all of the notes we've uh, sent to each other uh, via our various assistants that you pay for. <laughs> and, you know, we might come from different sides of the tracks. You are extremely wealthy, whereas I grew up merely upper class um, before <laughs> I was uh, destitute. It took me a lot to get used to, yes. Yeah, I know. And I'm a little rough around the edges. Um, when I drink my tea, I only put up um, one pinky, whereas I see that uh, you put up all of your fingers and sort of use your thumb in an exceedingly fancy way that I don't know exactly how you balance it. It is years of concentration. I would go into the schoolroom and Bumblebee teacher would watch as I balanced three teacups on my head full of hot scalding tea. And that is how I became the little gentleman you see before you. <laughs> is and everyone here a bee? <laughs> <laughs> are, you do I'm see just... that all the groundskeepers are also bees. Uh, and they're 
there's like this is Nayak is uh, aiming his arrow wildly. <laughs> <laughs> this is in trying to trace the path. This is insane because I, I we've we've been dating for a while and I just now I'm noticing all the bees. There's just a lot of bees. <laughs> I am wearing so much perfume. They are coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> they are trying to pollinate me. <laughs> Onyx, uh, your your cover is totally blown because one of these giant bees just lands on nothing and starts rubbing its back legs on you. <laughs> Stop it fresh. <laughs> um, but yes, Aster, the reason I asked you to meet me here uh, is for a special occasion indeed. For I am asking you to join my hive. Flash dance! <laughs> um, and I stand back and I begin waving wildly to Nyak and Onyx. <laughs> I emerge, but I forget to get rid of my invisibility. <laughs> Where's Onyx? She's exceedingly important, Nyak. <laughs> I, uh, so I'm I'm here wildly throwing glitter from a pouch, yelling for Onyx. <laughs> Onyx, Onyx, you're ruining I'm here. it. I'm no. doing you're blowing the it. Where are you? I'm doing the You're blowing it. The glitter trick, Onyx, quickly! <laughs> Don't throw glitter. It. Oh, the bees I'm hate here. glitter. The bees hate glitter. The bees are freaking out. They're yelling. Just Nike is getting stung by bees. As you're throwing glitter, Onyx gets caked in it, so she's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's a glitter monster! It's a gl- We've summoned something! <laughs> what? <laughs> We've summoned something! Um, I wildly swing at Onyx with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> so just a a cyclone of bees starts swarming around <laughs> as you <laughs> slug glitter onyx. Uh and with that <laughs> What? I was trying to help you propose! <laughs> <laughs> what I I'm sorry, yes. Uh and then I turn to Aster and I go, This was all planned to show that I will protect you. From all manners of monster, whether they be glitter demons or otherwise. Um, and then I get down on one knee and I propose. Nyak starts beatboxing. I don't think your knee is touching the ground. Oh, well, I don't want to get dirty. Nyak, <laughs> could you, would you mind, actually? I, I, I uh, immediately stand back up. Nyak is going to propose on my behalf. Nyak? <laughs> Nyak goes to both knees and says, will you please marry my brother? Do him this honor. <laughs> You see that uh, Aster looks overcome. Wow, this, and you can see that he's trying his very best to act uh, like he is impressed by this proposal. (laughs) I also (laughs) visibly have two nicer rings on. (laughs) (laughs) I'm invisible except for my slightly nicer ring. (laughs) Jins? This is everything I have dreamed of since I was a little boy. I especially like that you brought a baby moonicorn and four strange beetles. <laughs> the beetles are Nyak's children, and that's nothing. <laughs> it's pleased to meet you, nothing. I truly am so in love with you, and of course, yes, I will marry you. My sweet king to be. Onyx gags. <laughs> I, I, it's just like so intimate. You see, Jens, I think is like a terrible kisser, but has so much confidence. He comes forward, does like a dip, and then just gives like a cold, smushy kiss. <laughs> Nyak throws glitter, but there's not a lot left in the bag. So it's just like the dregs of the litter. Do your other glitter. boyfriends kiss you like this? And then just a cold <laughs> kiss. <laughs> I explain I explain the reference to his parents. Jins, my nose is in your mouth, Jins. Uh, so are we not supposed is that not what's supposed to happen here? Yeah. The problem is is that I'm not super liquid at the moment. I was going to say, do you have any money on your credit cards? You know, I think I'm technically like a prince or a king or something. I remember oh. marrying into royalty at one point, but I yeah. haven't seen my partner so- in God. Hi, want to be the aster to my gens, but we never meet or have any contact beyond social media? Purchase product, aplusstore.com. Also follow my Trinstagram. Thanks. <laughs>